So when that probe goes in, does it just like shrink it down and shrivel it up, or does it somehow get rid of it completely? So uh, it's a, can you hear me? There you go. It's a very in intriguing concept. Uh, first of all, the, the probe goes in, and then liquid nitrogen flows through the probe, probe. and freezes the far the segment of the probe, the segment of the probe that's within the tumor. And that actually causes an ice ball to form, about the size of a small egg, and it freezes, to the extent that it kills, anything near the center of the ice ball. We can watch the ice ball form while the ultrasound procedure is happening. And then does it dissolve, or does it? And then we freeze it, not just once, okay. but twice. And then it dissolves itself over time. Now, the ice ball melts, but what's intriguing about cryoblation, and the research regarding this is still fairly young, so I can't be as definitive as, as I'd like to yeah. be, but there's a lot of evidence to suggest that when the body has the opportunity to remove this dead tumor, this tumor that's within the breast but killed, the process of degrading it and taking it away exposes that tumor to the immune system and may be Ooh. a way of turning on the immune system and enabling it to recognize cancer cells. We have animal studies that clearly shows that this happens, yeah, wow. but we're in a process of analyzing uh, human studies, which were a part of that earlier trial, to look at the immune response to cryoblation. All right, I have another question. Can you be put to sleep for this? <laughs> <laughs> but you'd miss it. <laughs> I don't want to know about it. Wake me up when the hairdresser arrives. <laughs> Well, maybe we should include hairdressing with the appointment. Can you be put to sleep and have it, so or do you need to be awake? No, you don't need to be awake. Okay. You, I mean, part of the, the charm of it is that it's no... Did you say the charm of it? The charm of it. <laughs> is that really? Many people do not want to have anesthesia. I mean, and, and they fear really? anesthesia. Really? she said. <laughs> <laughs> and so, you know, and it's, it's a very easy office procedure. And wow. you know, we do our wow. best to really? you. We give you a warm blanket to keep you warm. But it's, it's you know, I, I, we know that you have, you've had a needle biopsy, so I can't speak to your yeah. experience. But for many, it's not that terrible. Will we see this become available as, do you think, in the next five years? Well, it's available that, now. It's just that the but trial But in limits, clinical trials or in all offices? Uh, well, those are two separate questions. It's available in clinical trial. We have a trial that's looking at a specific population of patients. Uh, I do treat quite a number of people off protocol because for various reasons they do not want to accept standard therapy. It's part of the process of giving people treatment options that are suitable for their risk tolerance. And so uh, it can be provided on protocol, which is on the trial, as well as off protocol. And at least on protocol, we have a number of sites uh, around the country that will be participating in the trial so that the treatment option is, is widely available across the country. All right. We'll hand out his number later.